So let's take a look at uh, Exodus cryptocurrency wallet. First thing you have to go to exodus.io website and from there you have to download the S Toddler for your respective operating system. And for me it is Windows and after installation it asks you password such as this. Okay, you just have to enter the password and hit enter or simply click on that arrow. Once you do that, it will connect to Exodus server and then it will authenticate that password and then you'll be able to see the dashboard. There are two more options here, help and restore. Okay, so we'll take a look at that later. Let's maximize this, okay. Now here you see it shows you the list of coins and respective percentage stored in the wallet. Okay, for example, I have Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Dash, and Ether. Okay, so these are the currencies I am keeping. If you want additional, you just have to simply go to settings. And here you have to check for the coins that you want to include. There are limited coins right now. Most of them are ether based or some of the simple coins from ICO. Okay, so there is also EOS even before the launch. So you can have that for now. Okay. Next thing is you can add localization with a choice of currency, I have US dollar, you can go for your local currency as well. Then you have a list of skins that you can choose from. Okay, simply choose this. And if you go back here, it will show your portfolio with random themes such as that. Okay, next thing you can also go with this help okay here you get a list of questions answered think of it as FAQ okay so you may want to go through this if you have any specific questions or if you want help test through website then click on this button there are also videos that you can find on YouTube these are official videos so they are covered in this help video section. Okay, then there is backup as well. Okay, as you can see, it shows the email address where it is sent. Okay, there is also 12 word backup phrase. Such so in case if I want to unlock my Exodus backup again. Okay, so after that, uh, let's take a look at wallet section. Here you can see you have dash. I can send dash to someone. I just have to enter dash address, choose the amount of dash, and hit send. Okay, there is going to be a network fee, which you can see here, also the available balance. Okay. You can check the same for other currencies with send. Here you see network fee, two dollar, and balance fee. Okay, so same with other currencies like Kitha. Okay, so depending on your send and reception options, you will get address as well. This is my third address. Then finally, there is one more feature, exchange. Here you can see, you can choose the currency, such as Bitcoin, you have um, Ether and other. So if I want to switch from Bitcoin to Dash, I just have to choose them and hit exchange. Do note that the feeds here are a bit more so it's better to use external programs such as 
uh, Changely or Block Trades or Binance and others for exchanging. Exodus is not that good for exchanging your currencies. Okay, so this was a simple introduction to your Exodus desktop wallet.